Propellers are crucial to optimum performance and life of your outboard engine. The propeller is where the power meets the water, so it's important to choose the correct propeller to achieve the outboard's full potential. Finding the right propeller for a boat and outboard combination is normally a matter of trial and error. There are many variables to consider. Boat design, weight, load distribution, the outboard's running characteristics, and how and where the boat will be used all influence the propeller choice. You will find performance reports at evanroot.com or from your dealer for your boat or a similar model. Performance reports are developed through factory boat and outboard testing. They can provide valuable information to begin testing your boat and outboard. Evanroot engineers develop propellers to provide the best propeller match for different boat and outboard combinations. See your dealer for the most up-to-date propeller models. Your dealer or the boat's manufacturer may offer recommendations based on their experiences. One of the first decisions to make is the choice of material. Aluminum propellers offer good performance at a low cost for most applications. Stainless steel propellers are more expensive than aluminum, but they're more durable and their thinner blades provide better performance. A second decision is blade count. Most propellers have either three or four blades. Three blades are typically more efficient, but four blades generally provide a better grip on the water, especially in tight churns or rough water. After you decide which model propeller to use, you need to determine a crucial dimension. In the center or hub of the propeller, you'll find a number. This one says 14 and 3 quarter by 17. The first number, 14 and 3 quarter, is the diameter of the propeller measured in inches at the tips of the blade. The diameter is generally determined by the propeller model. The second number, 17, is the pitch. This is the dimension you need to determine. Pitch is the distance the propeller would travel in one revolution if it was cutting through a solid such as gelatin. Of course, water isn't solid and the propeller will slip a little bit, but not as much as you might expect. A good outboard and propeller combination will generally slip less than 10% and maybe only a couple of percent. Lower pitch propellers allow the outboard to build up RPMs quickly, which is helpful for big boats and heavy loads, but they create less forward travel with each revolution and slower top speeds. Higher pitch propellers produce less low speed pulling power and acceleration, but more top end speed. For best performance and fuel economy, you must determine the correct pitch propeller for your boat and outboard combination. Use the Evanroot Johnson Propeller Selection Guide or the Boat Builder's Recommendation only as a starting point. Your dealer may also be able to help, but an on-the-water test is the only way to determine the correct pitch. You will need access to different pitch propellers for the propeller model you have chosen. Your dealer may have demonstration propellers available. The outboard comes with all the necessary propeller attaching hardware. If the propeller comes with its own hardware, use it instead. Using the wrong hardware can damage the propeller or gear case. Refer to the installation procedure in the operator's guide. Lubricate the propeller shaft with triple guard grease so the propeller can be removed later. Position and orient washers and spacers correctly. Tighten the nut to the torque specified in the operator's manual. Use a block of wood to prevent the propeller from turning. Be careful as many propellers have sharp edges. Secure the nut with a retainer and cotter pin. Install all drain plugs. Launch the boat. Wear a personal flotation device or PFD when running the boat. Always connect the tether cord to the outboard cutoff switch and secure it to your clothing or PFD. Accurate tachometer readings are essential. If possible, use an Evinrude tachometer as it will be most accurate. Navigate to a safe area for a high speed run. Accelerate to full throttle, trim out the outboard, and observe the RPM. The outboard should run near the midpoint of the recommended full throttle RPM operating range with a normal load in the boat. If you have less than a normal load, for instance less people or equipment, 
or if you're testing on a cool day, the outboard should run near the top of the RPM range. The outboard will produce less power on a hot, humid day because the air is not as dense. Accelerate the boat onto plane several times. Check performance at various trim angle adjusting rod positions or power trim positions. To find the optimum trim position, trim the outboard up until the RPM increases with no corresponding increase in speed, then trim down slightly. You may need to try different propellers to achieve the optimum RPM at full throttle. If the RPM is too high, try a higher pitch propeller. If it's too low, try a lower pitch propeller. For best results, you should try to achieve the outboard's optimum RPM range, which is a narrower RPM range than the wide open throttle range. Your dealer can provide you with this information. If you'd like to learn more about propellers and their design and performance characteristics, download the Evinrude Johnson Propeller Selection Guide from Evinrude.com. Click on Parts and Accessories, then Props. Thanks for watching.